What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my M of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off what happened last time, the biggest part was Wellesley engaging and utterly destroying an entire French stack here in France. And we've gained a a, a battle uh, a battle icon, a major battle icon to signify this, and to be honest, France is now getting full of them because of all the major victories we have fought. Let's upgrade you to a factory. Um, but yes, so the rebellion in France has not been put down, not entirely. Um, we still have a rebel, rebel army out there, but I'm reluctant to move forward and engage it yet until these guys are fully replenished. France itself is slowly putting itself back together. We are fortified, but soon we will have some government buildings ready. Wellesley is moving up from the south. And we also captured Torino, so we have a place to weather the uh, the, the attrition from winter and at some point we're also going to have to capture Corsica however Corsica is actually quite well defended well as far as I can see oh I, I just moved you in there for, a for repairs didn't I I hit people Naguri, Agent Makuta, so my spy we've already sorted him out maybe this army in Marseille might get expanded and sent to secure Corsica, then effectively garrison it, waiting to secure Sardinia. At some point we are going to start invading all these regions. Once we take Milan, this is kind of the end of our... Milan's going to be our breakwater in Europe, because once we start capturing some more of these French regions, like if I can draw a line here, we're going to have to make some interesting decisions about what I do next, because I'm going to have to start attacking um, allies... You're allied with Russia, Prussia, Austria, and we're all allied. They're all allied together. So if I break an alliance with them, I'm almost pretty much declaring war on the rest of the world. Which means suddenly Copenhagen's vulnerable. My front's vulnerable. But one thing isn't that isn't vulnerable is my navy. It's my own shores. Because right now, because I capture, I own these straits, and I've only got a handful of ports to watch. Um, I know that, well actually only two ports to watch, I know that they can't cause too much damage, or well, they can't recruit a navy to start interrupting with my trade. Um, and I've also got a navy down here with Nelson keeping an, an eye on the Mediterranean. Portugal's a bit of an awkward one. Because they've got a couple of armies. So I may end up having to recruit an army and have it stationed off their borders just in case maybe so let's get screw some nine pounders let's get you your dragoons let's get you your light dragoons I'm not worried about giving them a general just yet but I am going to need a general. I'm going to need someone there to fight them and eventually push them back. Mm, you're not really doing much useful there, so I might ship you back to to here. Okay, so I think I'm going to hit end turn and see responses. So Napoleon is out of action for a few turns. Lots of French resources pushing westwards. Nope. Do not engage. Who is that? Casimir Villate. Don't know him. I wouldn't head south too far, Sonny. That's where Wellesley's waiting. I may even want to fortify Copenhagen a bit more. I'll have a navy covering the bridge and a navy covering the land border because I don't want to lose it that quickly because that's where my uh, university is, or one of them. Agent detected. Oh, my guy. Try again. Okay, 
hits Tange or more. Let's hit the Rebel Army and then just auto it. So the Rebels are finished. Move up to this high ground. Does that cheer drop a bit? It has. Keep you exempt from tax for, for now. Good. LLC. An LLC. LLC has been researched, so then go on to modern rifles. Edgar Ridge, one of my ministers. It's got a bit better at his job, but to be honest, they're all a bit terrible. I can't even swap them around because they don't really have any personalities or character traits. And he's honest, so it gets me a bit of a bit of a bonus, but not really a massive one. Okay, let's bring the Scots Grey south. And then let's enlist Henry Clinton. Start constructing a second army. Or another army. It's my seventh, I think. So I'm to get one unit of five inch howitzers because they've not demonstrated how brilliant they are to me at the minute. I don't know, maybe get two. Because right now my armies aren't really full of infantry. Let's get two units of British Coldstream Guards. Let's get, well, the other, these other Coldstream cold Guards then. So these will all be different battalions of the Coldstream Guards. Oh, they're maxed out. Court of Justice. Court of Appeals. Let's build you. More trade. Military in Spain, Denmark, France. 106 gun. Ship the line. Fox. You go join Nelson. So it did say Spy Network established by William Wickham in Strasbourg. Lots of French columns, some 12 pounders, chasseurs à cheval. To be honest, I've been behind the line on the artillery for a long time now. One more turn, then these guys will be repaired. Yeah, I'd watch out if I were you, matey boy. Oh, to be honest, do I just go hit them? Adrian, Mary, Robert. We will engage you and push you back to Reims. Hopefully into the city. I can then send one of my armies in to maintain, to put it under siege. Then Wellesley can head east. And threaten Strasbourg. Could probably do with building up my navy in the Baltic, because I'm going to be fighting against the Prussians and the Russians. They'll... Be, ooh, this is quite... Okay, so why are you 12 pounders? 6 pounders. Still, I'm out of range. So you're going to come in from the front. You guys are going to come advance down this flank. You guys are going to advance on the right. All my artillery is going to come up in one big line. Because why not? Wellesley and the general. Move the centre up. Let's move them up, start to threaten this ridge line. To be honest, my centre could probably move up more. Does also mean everyone else can move up more. So where's my right divisions? Good. These guys are 
bit more careful because they, they won't be able to get some good shots off of the cavalry as it charges over the hill. Okay, so they're going to go redeploy. The artillery is engaging. It's quite a mass target here, really. Still there. Where's our boy Wellesley? There he is. I wish he was in his blue coat. Is that a French column? Fuse there of the line unit running in speed and fast forward. Well, if, if, if they'll let me, I'd, I'd rather deploy up on the roughly the crest of this hill. A bit scared of their cavalry. That's what that's what was putting me off. So I'm going to hold here while my cavalry get while my artillery gets in position. Okay, I might have to not. I might have to give up that ambition somewhat. Let's run them. The artillery's here, unlimber, fire at will. Good, because they can start to be in range. God, that's a really long name. I'll call them the 23rd Lancers. Yep, all the artillery straight at their guns, including my howitzers. Yep, and they are forced to move up. Ooh, French conscripts. Keep two of my artillery batteries targeting their Glorious victories, huh? it's soon targeting their artillery. Poor old conscripts about to be engaged with the King's German Legion. A depleted King's German Legion, to be sure. Fifty fourth Regiment of Foot. Dismounted dragoons, yeah, they are. You look rather good, I have to say. But it looks like you've got full length rifles rather than carbines. I suppose they are their original foot, so they've, been, they've theoretically been equipped with infantry weapons. Revolution 
you're getting close on their flank, you've got a good position to spin around and start engaging. Oh, these, are the, these are the drummer boys. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. For some reason they didn't charge, they just walked up next to me. These guys in the square in case this. Oh, I they're actually going to attack. Poor old lancers, there aren't any really good targets for you. Falling back on all fronts, but to be honest, we do have an absolute crap ton of artillery, so it's not entirely unsurprising. Oops, he's trying to rally his men, Mon General. Oh, the officers. Oh, no, okay. So that's probably an ensign. It's probably meant to be carrying that. The same as their colonel. Okay, so let's. See, running them down would be nice, but I'm completely happy to take them. To take a. Major defeat. <laughs> Can I, yeah, chasing them down is the best option, but I'm not super bothered about doing that in a minute. One gun. All these men crewing one gun. Oh, this is a hell of a hell of a cauldron to find you find yourself caught in. Triple speed because now they charged me. I did not I was not able to react. Okay, now let's speed up. Let's throw in my cavalry. Run my light dragoons through, get ready to pin down these lancers. Let's run these guys on to chase after them, but I want these guys to get ahead of my infantry. Okay, let's pull them back, let's pull them back. That's their death. Oh, 
absolutely continue. Yeah, everyone else is going to escape, but that's not so bad. I'll take a nice win. So my hussars. So they're very tired and I'm tired, so we might catch up to them. Over time. Because they will tire first. Because they are... Are they guard cavalry? Heavy cavalry? Because we're only light cavalry. Although... We're slowing down to reform a lot more. They're just booking it. Yeah, they're very tired. We're tired, impetuous. So lots of them have turned around to face us. Might actually get them. Because they're choosing a really weird way to retreat. <laughs> it's one man. See, if this was a story, that's the... Oh. Say, if this was a story, this was the young man, the man who's just joined the... Pressure was hatched from a cannibal. Yeah, um, yeah. The Grizzle Sergeant says, No, you, you keep going, sir, I'll stop them. And then he doesn't realise what's there. And it's chomped. Not a bad battle. Pfft, nice thing to intercept me. I was concerned the city had intercepted me. But let's cross back over the border to replenish. You. Do you still wait there? Because I want you to be. F in tip top position. Ooh. Withdraw. Withdraw for sure. I know when I don't I know when I don't want to fight. Okay, so let's go to here. Yes, my fear is if I'm gonna be engaging see like the the Prussians, that's quite a big navy. I don't know how good it is, but it's still big. So I may want to start Okay, so that's where a bunch of frigates are based. Let's move some of these smaller ships out to join this fleet. Trading company. Well, to be honest, I might even want to bring... No, they need, they need to stay a bit further out to sea, really. Let's base my battle fleet in... Gone. And let's recruit. Let's get HMS Caledonia. One heavy first. Two seconds. A third. A third. Good. Because I'm going to start building up my fleet. Because I'm a Mediterranean squadron. I'm not bothered by and They're supported by lots of ports. But there's scope for. Mischief to happen in the Baltic if I mismanage a battle particularly badly. Mm hmm. Right here, let's hit in turn and see what happens. Now, yep, those Swiss grenadiers are moving down to Madrid. My spy in Norway is on the move. Nope. See, if I had larger cavalry units doing scouting, I might be tempted to mob them. Bony! Oh, god damn it. See, he ran around Wellington. So Wellington's going to have to fall back and kill him again and again and again. Oh, does, don't the French ever listen? Kingdom of Greece, Portugal, Batavians. Okay, so you... <clears throat> what do I want? 
If you shoot for interchangeable parts, might be a good idea. And let's upgrade a bunch of docks to trading companies, which are going to really hoover up a lot of money. See Napoleon and his bunch of troops. So I can just run round here. Then move in. You can lay siege to Reims. It's a lot of troops. A lot of cavalry. Maintain siege. Bob Crawford, go chomp up the this Calais garrison. Well, they didn't really chomp them up. I'm probably going to want to do that. So can I move this army out of Paris? Well, they absolutely hate it. Yeah, they'll hate it, but not for many turns. Can't upgrade, can't do this, can't do that. Yeah, give Khan roads. Good, good, good. One more unit to replenish and then you'll move on and lay siege to Milan, or they'll probably want the weather to get a bit better, but I don't know if... I don't know if I'll suffer with it there. So if I move them out, they'll suffer with it there. No, but you guys will hate me. So let's wait. Winter there, then hit Milan, and that'll be quite a nice little base in this area. So I might hit Milan, build a garrison, and send Abercrombie down to hit Corsica. Come on then, Bonaparte. Let's fight. <laughs> the swine. God! Let's see, so I've killed him. What's that? Twice now? I've... Well, no, I've, I've wounded him. Air quotes. He's definitely not dead. He is just wounded. So let's do something a bit more normal. No, I'm, I'm getting too used to treating line, um, light infantry as, as line infantry, and it's making things a bit dodgy because I'm, I'll be, you know, going. Oh, don't worry, they can just form a square, C can't they, C guys? So you would like to put up? Oh, they're coming right at us lovely of them let's put my dragoons on the move oh no that's terrible for you sir sir our general is under attack Embarked. Okay, they're 12 pounders as well, so they'll better reach pretty far. Sprint my artillery. Harris is probably well out of range. They are, but they're going to engage the Hussars now. 
Hussards. Let's move my artillery up here actually, so they're a bit more supportable from my infantry. Yeah, they've all started to turtle back up again, which is fair enough. Okay, so you guys are going to want to march up this relatively plain field up here. funky. I like it. It's an Olympic artillery and they're in a good firing position. You guys are going to advance in close order. Oh, come on, you go. You need to come around here and reinforce the shoulder of this position. And you and them. are going to capture this. Lovely little ridge. Put my howitzer uh, here. Infantry elite. Move up aggressively. Form square. Cavalry charging through the woods. They are, but they're light infantry, so the light cavalry, so I'm not bothered. They look brilliant. They can absolutely shot to pieces. Yep, these ours are falling back. Guys, and get these guys up in a position to threaten, bo threaten Bonaparte. Let's do fire off. First foot guard. French Marines. Got 
Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna try and get some sneaky shots off on Napoleon. Engaging in the woods. Let's get these guys to start to snipe at their artillery. French Marines being shot to pieces. into that fusilier unit rapidly. Where's Wellington? Bring Wellington into the breach. Fuses of the line, French cells. So in the centre, if it is, then keep advancing this flank up. I would hope it would. Also, sort of my men to rally. Of course, Bonaparte's now in the centre. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Let's retrieve Wellesley. Where's my cavalry? Come on, man. Your general needs you. They're trying to snipe your precious general. See, there's Boney. Get him! Let's turn off all my artillery fire. He's not going to do anything to help me. Get him! Smash my cavalry into Boney. Where is he? Where's the man? There he is. Let's 
Don't want to get, don't want to get Wellesley involved. Work your cavalry over to him and cut him to pieces. Killed an infantryman. Oh, but he's engaged in our cavalry. We have killed them. Got him! There he is. Let's pull my cavalry back. Pull my infantry back. Cavalry, chase him down. Absolutely continue. Where's Wellesley? There he is. Only three men there. Awesome. Triple speed. So I'll take that as a nice win. Got a bit dicey at one point when Napoleon started to really throw his men into the melee and that's an interesting thing to observe is you just saw just how well they did even though they were massively outnumbered. Let's get them engaged into this infantry unit. Did a very good job mopping up this Swiss line. One man remaining, and I've got someone else to task you on to. Have a go at the fuse of the line. These are the last eight chaps remaining. Four. Ah, they've spread out. So there's three here, and there's one back there. If I was manually controlling them smartly, I'd have them kill him. But to be honest, I don't really. I'm not really bothered. I'll do the damage, that's what matters. See, he's in here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> there he is. You brave man. Jesus. <laughs> then there's one last group remaining over here, which if I was smart, I would have spotted. Hey, no, they're running a weird way. I could still get them. If they ran straight, they'd be over the line immediately. But they aren't. They still might make it. No, I think they're done for. Pyrrhic? How was that? Pyrrhic victory. I mean, I know it kind of defeats... I know they don't want people killing Napoleon in the first battle and losing him forever, but I mean, come on. Let's bring him back up. Trait gained. Oh, that's my spy. Reverend Henry Bate. He's doing a smashing job, keeping an eye on the sneaky Portuguese. But, looking at the timer... I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to see what happens in the European continent. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.